Hey guys, quick video on the ball slam. Uh, one of the things that I see often when people are doing ball slams in, uh, in our group workouts is the fact that they're taking a ball that's probably too heavy for them in terms of what the ball slam should be doing. So I'm gonna show you something that I see a lot and what you really want to be doing when you're doing the ball slam. So what I see a lot is various formations of this in a ball slam. Right, so you're here, it could be this, right? Or it could be this which uh, both are wrong, um, and one of the reasons. So here, what we want to do in the ball slam is we want to squat down to get the ball, right? And we want to stay upright. We don't want to end up over the top of the ball like this and have that ball come in our lower back area, right? What we want to do is squat down, pick this up with power, right? Pick that up with power, and then get it over our head. But what we see a lot is that rounding of the back, or we'll see this other one, where that ball comes in between the legs and back behind and then up and here. So what you're doing essentially is using your lower back again and you're using momentum to get that ball up, which takes out the work of it. So yeah, you can grab a heavier ball if you do it those two ways. Problem is, your form and the function of it is not great. right? So that lower back lift will lead to rep repetition, it will lead to some lower back pain and you'll wonder the next day, why does my lower back hurt so much? It's because you've been compressing the spine and you've been rounding that back and getting into some bad postural positions in terms of function. So what you want to do is grab a ball that is light enough, right? Remember to take the ego out of this thing, is grab a ball that's light enough to where you can actually squat down, pick it up, curl it to here, and then press it up. Right? Obviously, under, under uh, normal conditions when we do this, we're not going to be slowing down, curling, and pressing. But you want the ball to be light enough to where you don't have to dip it back behind you. You can just curl it from wherever it's at, and then push it up and slam it. So, so you curl, press, slam. Curl, press, slam. Curl, press, and slam. And that is how you're going to want to do the ball slam.